Today I'm heading out to explore a wetland of national significance. Home to an array of birds and marine life, it's right here on our doorstep and still a bit of a hidden secret. Let's go and have a look. Launching from Garden Island, you'll find Adelaide's Dolphin Sanctuary and the very interesting ship's graveyard. As far as day jobs go, I reckon tour operator Philip Doddridge is on an absolute winner. I've been kayaking for about 30 years and my business, Adventure Kayaking, we've been taking people out to the Adelaide Dolphin Sanctuary and Rapid Bay and the Coorong for about 15 years now. We'll be paddling in double sea kayaks, which are really stable. No one's ever tipped over on our tour and I'd really like to keep saying that honestly. Phil assures us that paddling is as easy as walking, so without further ado, let's get out there. We're going to turn and head this way and we've got a group of about six dolphins down here to observe first up. Here they come. This is a mother and a baby coming through here. We've got two young dolphins in the river at the moment. One's about 10 weeks old and one's just over a year old. Well, how are the odds? We've been on the water for about 10 minutes and seen as many dolphins, probably 10. Amazing. Oh, there you go, there's one there. <laughs> Beautiful. In fact, around 40 Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins call the Port River home. Researchers know them all by name and recognise who's who from their individual markings. This really is such a magical place. Out of 10, Phil reckons today is a 10 for spotting dolphins, but that's not all you can expect to see here. There's also plenty to explore off the main river. So where are we going, Phil? Well, Peter, we're just about to head into one of the little mangrove creeks. Doesn't have a name on the map. We call it the Little Amazon because it's a bit of a jungle in here. Moving through these mangroves, you lose yourself completely. I had notions of being down in the southern United States in gator country. yeah <laughs> But on a serious note, Phil tells me this mangrove forest with its shallow sea grasses and mud flats acts as a kind of nursery for juvenile species of commercial fish and crustaceans. These are really unique areas. In these creeks, most of the fish of the Adelaide region will breed. So hopefully we'll see some uh, big brim in here, some mullet, some garfish. Might even see some small mulloway. Oh, this is beautiful. Have a look at this. Wow. It's pretty special, isn't it? Oh. Back on the main river, and it's an easy paddle over to the ship's graveyard. With over 20 wrecks resting here, you get a real snapshot of our early maritime history. So this boat here was known as the San Diego, and it's a protected boat because it's one of the oldest iron boats still uh, relatively intact. Very significant piece of history. So for a really interesting day out on the water that's located only half an hour from the city, you can't go past a tour with Adventure Kayaking SA. The incredible wildlife, the history, not to mention the gentle exercise, make for a combination that's hard to resist.